All right, I have a string set up here um, that I've loaded with the word some text. And you'll remember um, when you have a string, it's really an array of chars. Um, and so I can imagine that each of these letters has an index position. Um, if I visualize this as like an array or a vector type thing in my head, um, here's where each of the letters is sitting um, at these different positions. Um, but what if I want to resize this string so it's a different size? Um, there is a string method called resize, and let me show you how it works. Uh, let's first print out what the text is right here so we can see the changes we're making. Um, if I would like to resize this text and I'd like to make it smaller, um, I can type dot resize and I can give it a number. So let's say we only want it to be the word sum. Well, that would be um, only four letters, right? So if I resize this guy to four and print it out, you'll see now I only have the word sum, okay? But what if I wanna make it bigger? So this currently has nine letters in it. Um, what if I wanna make it 20 characters long? Um, let's see. Well, you'll see, I can't really tell what happened, right? Um, actually, I can because my cursor is right sitting right here. It seems like it didn't do anything. Let's do some tests to see if that's possibly true. So let's ask this guy what his length is and see what it says. It's reporting 20. So I wonder what the heck it's doing. It's obviously it's padding it with a character that is not printable, right? Because when I print it, um, there's my cursor. It's right next to the T. So whatever's making up those 10 new characters, because this is, I'm sorry, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This was 9, and now it's 20. So there's 11 of something sitting there. Um, I want to know what it is. So I'm going to say, let's go to a position that would have been new. So like 12 wasn't in my old one, but it would be in there if it was 20. Um, and let's do a little trick which is let's cast this to an integer. And because when I do this square brackets access, it grabs it as a char. Um, this is also equivalent to writing this, just FYI. Um, when I do this, it brings it as a char. Let's see what it shows as the integer value. Let's see. So that's a zero. I'm gonna look up what the ASCII value of C++ is at zero. Oh, it's null. That means um, the absence of anything. And so it's it's a character that doesn't print. So it's padding it, but it's not padding it with something that actually shows up, which is fine if you're trying to take up a certain amount of memory, but it's not great if I'm trying to manipulate text. So what can I do so this pads it with something I can actually see? Well, I can put a comma, and I can give this guy a second parameter. Um, and so let's pad it with exclamation points. All right, and when I do that, now I've got my original text plus enough explanation, exclamation points to make this thing be 20 total long, okay? So whatever I put here will be what it pads it with. If I want that to be a space, my cursor should show far to the right. You won't be able to see the spaces, obviously, because they, they don't show up as anything. But whatever I'd like to pad it with, I put here in this spot, um, and it will add that. Notice this thing has to be a char. That's why it's got single quotation marks around it. But when I pad with a character, it will add however many of these it needs to to get to this specified total length, okay? What happens if I give it a padding character and I make it smaller? Let's do an experiment. Um, so this thing is nine characters long originally. If I resize it to five and say pad with star, let's see what happens. Oh, well, it doesn't pad with anything, because it doesn't need to, because it's shrinking. So if I make it smaller, it'll just not use this. If I make it bigger, it will use that character. All right, what if I'd like to um, make this bigger by a certain amount, not to a total, but like three times, maybe I want three exclamation points here, um, but I don't know what this text is. Maybe I, I let the user give it to me, right? So let's ask them, um, enter text, let's grab. Let's grab it from them. Get lines in text. All right. What if I want to make it bigger so that it's got three of these on the end? How can I do that? Well, I can ask text for how long it is right now. And I can say, make yourself three bigger. Let's see if that works. All right. Hi there. Up oh, three exclamation points. Cool. Let's run it again to verify it still works. Yo three exclamation points. So if I want to, I can incorporate text into my resize to make it 
um, this many more than it already is, and that's how many of these I'll get. All right, so that's resize.